Hello guys and welcome back to the Mai Tai Garage. So the saga continues uh, on this journey to the centre of the Vincent. I'm very happy with how things are going so far and thanks for your great feedback. Uh, I really appreciate it and um, yeah as you no doubt have seen so far it's looking really nice. Certainly in the cylinder heads and the top of the barrels. Um, as you saw the pistons are new and um, 40 over. I'm just so surprised to see how nice those liners look as well. So next step will be to remove these barrels and take a look see if we can see inside this crankcase just to see what the the crank looks like and then um thank you to my friend ted uh he's very kindly loaned me um a couple of piston clamps as well so we will be using those uh to return uh the pistons into the barrel when they go back on again but uh so let's get started with this <laughs> So that's the front barrel off and the rest of the piston just at very first glance is perfect. It's brand new, just like the top. So managed to protect that paper gasket as well if you saw that. I didn't want to have to replace it. I will, I mean they're, they're cheap. But uh, um, let's take a look at the piston, at the liner, at the bore of the, of the barrel and see if we can now see inside that crankcase to see what's going on, just to see what it looks like. Starting with the barrel, or the muff, this is called the muff in Vincent language, um, and then we're looking at the liner inside. You can see it's really nice condition, and we saw that a little bit with the bore scope when we put that in through the spark plug hole, but it just looks magic, doesn't it? Um, very, very happy with this. They may even be new, I'm not sure. These, these are relatively inexpensive, actually, the barrels themselves. Um, I'm, I'm curious as to why the pistons are 40 over if there was going to be a rebore. Because um, normally you'd just go back to a standard size liner, right? With a standard size piston. And then moving on to the piston itself, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Uh, VOC, Vincent Owners Club. So great, it's directly from the Spares Company. And uh, it's just perfect. I mean, as the, the piston looks absolutely brand new. So next, let's take a look down that cavity. Here's just an initial look. At the crankshaft. And we're looking at the conrods. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the little bore scope out and snake it into the cavity. Just have a little sniff around, but everything looks really good. The conrod looks very good. They look like new, don't they? little scratch there but that's not too bad
I'm trying to do the best I can here to measure how far the travel is when I'm rocking the conrod. So essentially trying to measure the big end, not the float necessarily, but just the rocking. I'm looking for it to be about 30 to 40 thousandths. It's a little tricky, obviously with the piston still there. So what I've done is I've just put the indicator up against as far up as I can get it on the conrod so that I can then try and rock it and uh, see what that measures. So I've made an executive decision. I'm not going to remove this rear barrel uh, with everything that I've seen so far. And I've decided that I'm not going to split the crankcases at this moment in time. If you saw that black shadow disassemble video, there's quite a bit of work involved and I just don't think that I'm there yet. I think I'm gonna wait and see what the bike runs like before I make a decision like that. I'm really happy with the way that things look right now. Uh, the cylinder heads are great. The valves have obviously been replaced. The 40 over pistons are brand new. The conrods look great. The bores inside the liners have obviously been honed or rebored and they look great. The crank and flywheel assembly looks terrific. The Conrod end play is good. Um, there is some wobbling, but it's within tolerance. So everything that I've seen so far with this bike is consistent with what I understand happened before I got the bike. And so I also recognize there's tons of work to do. I haven't even opened the primary side yet. Um, for example, the chain looks like it might be stretched and thank you Duke Dude for calling that out. Um, I also need to look at the clutch and give the gearbox a once over as well. Although it does change very easily on the bench. And then don't even mention the electrics. I haven't even considered what that's going to look like. So I'm gonna put the front barrel back on I'm going to l remove those aftermarket breathers for now. I'm just going to replace them with standard caps and we'll see how the engine breathes when the bike's running. And then I'm going to refit the cylinder heads and then torque them back down, get the engine back together again. So thanks for watching guys. I'll speak to you again soon.